Hello everyone, welcome to the yarn bowl. Today in this video we are going to see how to crochet this cute Jack Skellington Amigurumi key rings. This is a wonderful Halloween gift idea and a quick Halloween project. You can also use them as Halloween decor or uh, Christmas tree ornaments. Written pattern of this Jack Skellington key rings is available in the description box and in my website theyarnbowlcrochet.com. Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So for this project we'll need a couple of things. Uh, I'm using worsted weight yarn in two colors white and black. You can use any brand and I'm using a blunt tip of this uh, crochet hook for uh, stuffing in my polyfill inside my amigurumi and I will need a uh, needle, sewing needles and tapestry needle and felt. I'm going to trace the eyes and nose using white gel pen marker and stitch marker scissors and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project and i'll need a couple of key rings and uh, we will need polyfill also for our stuffing so we'll need stitch marker throughout this project because we are going to work in spiral so we will need to mark uh, the first stitch uh, for each round because we are not going to end each round with a slip stitch so first round one we are going to work a magic ring and then we are going to work six single crochets around the magic ring and uh, once this is done you can tighten the magic ring and start working your second round so for second round I'm going to just right away work two single crochet on the first stitch of round one. So once you work two single crochets mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. So this is how we are going to identify each uh, stitch I mean the first stitch of uh, each round because we'll be lost if you don't mark it with a stitch marker so um, stitch marker is essential if you don't have a stitch marker use a safety pin to identify your first stitch now you can go ahead tighten the magic ring and secure it with a knot and then for round one as i told you we are going to work two single crochets on each stitch around So now for round three, we are going to work. Uh, uh, we are going to remove the stitch marker. We are going to work two single crochet in one stitch, and one single crochet on the next stitch. So now I have worked two single crochet, and I'm going to work. Um, I'm going to mark my first stitch using a stitch marker, and then on the next stitch, I'm just going to go ahead work only one single crochet. So we're going to work two single crochets in one stitch, and one single crochet on the next stitch around. So go ahead, work round three. I'll meet you at the end of round three. So round 3 is done, we are going to work round 4, round 4 is going to be non-increment round which means we are not going to do any increase, we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So uh, like we do always, we mark our first stitch using a stitch marker and then continue working one single crochet on each stitch around. So 
so now for round five we are going to increase again we're going to work two single crochet in one stitch and one single crochet in next two stitches so I'm going to mark my first stitch using a stitch marker and then I'm going to work two single crochet in next two stitches. So we're going to repeat this around which means we are going to work two single crochet in one stitch and one single crochet in next two stitches around. So continue working round five. I'll meet you at the end of round five. Round 6 once again is going to be an on increment round which means we are going to work only one single crochet on each stitch around. Like we do always mark our first stitch using a stitch marker and then continue working one single crochet on each stitch around. So now for round 7 we are going to once again increment, we will work 2 single crochet in 1 stitch and 1 single crochet in next 3 stitches. So I have completed 2 single crochet in my first stitch and then I will mark my first stitch using stitch marker and then I will go ahead work three single 1 single crochet each on next 3 stitches. And then we are going to repeat this pattern around which means we are going to work 2 single crochet in 1 stitch and 1 single crochet each in next 3 stitches around. Continue round 7. I will meet you at the end of round 7. Now round 8 and round 9 are going to be non increment round which means we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around for round 8 and round 9. So continue working round 8 and round 9. I will meet you at the end of round 9. From round 10 on we are going to work our decreases. So this is our first decrease round. So we are going to work two uh, single crochet two together in two stitches and then we will work one single crochet each on next three stitches. So I have worked my first decrease and then I will mark my first stitch using a stitch marker and then I will go ahead work one single crochet each on next three stitches. And then we are going to repeat this pattern around. We will work single crochet two together in two stitches and one single crochet each on next three stitches around. So continue this pattern. I will meet you at the end of round 10.
so round 10 is now complete you can see the uh, head shaping up and now for round 11 and round 12 it's going to be non increment round which means we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around and at this end of this round we'll have uh, 24 stitches so continue working round 11 and round 12 i'll meet you at the end of round 12 round 13 now round 13 is going to be a decrement round we're going to work decreases so i'm going to work single crochet two together in two stitches and then we'll go ahead work one single crochet each on the next two stitches and we're going to repeat this pattern around and i'll mark my first stitch using a stitch marker and then i'm going to work one single crochet each on next two stitches and then we are going to repeat this pattern around which is single crochet two together in two stitches and one single crochet each on next two stitches around so at the end of round 13 we'll have 18 stitches so continue um, round 13 i'll meet you at the end of round 13. So round 14 is going to be a non-increment round which means we are not going to in decrease uh, so we are going to work only one single crochet on each stitch around so continue round 14 i'll meet you at the end of round 14 so at the end of round 14 we'll still have 18 stitches For round 15 we are going to decrease again we are going to work single crochet two together in two stitches and then after that we'll work one single crochet on the next stitch so i'm going to work my first single crochet two together and then i'll mark my first stitch using a stitch marker and then on the next stitch i'm going to just work only one single crochet so and then we are going to repeat this pattern around which is single crochet two together in two stitches and one single crochet on the next stitch around cut so continue working uh, round seven uh, round 15 i'll meet you at the end of round 15 so at the end of round 15 we'll have 12 stitches So now uh, once you're done with round 15 we are going to stuff the head with polyfill so I'm just going to stuff it with polyfill so once you've uh, stuffed your uh, head with polyfill we'll work our final round which is round 16 we're just going to work single crochet two together on two stitches around so which is going to decrease our stitches stitch count um, by six stitches so at the end of round 16 we'll have six stitches so continue working single crochet two together on two stitches around 
So I'll meet you at the end of round 16. So now uh, we have completed the skeleton's head. You have a small opening here. You can sew it with a tapestry needle to close the opening. So we have uh, completed the head of skeleton and now we are just going to add in uh, some details. Let's see how to do it. So I have a black felt here. So I have free handed um, the eye and nose for the skeleton. So this is the completed one right here. So I'm just going to free hand it uh, with a uh, white gel pen marker on black felt and then I'm going to cut it. So once we've cut i'm just gonna uh, use the hot glue hot glue gun uh, to attach these uh, details the eye and nose to the amigurumi head so once uh, we have uh, done that we can start working on the mouth details So for adding in the mouth, I'm going to use a black uh, crochet thread, size 8 crochet thread or you can also use a embroidery thread for this and then you can sew it to your head like as I do. So go ahead, sew in your mouth details to your amigurumi head. So here now our Jack Skellington's head is done. So I'm gonna do uh, three different variations to it. Um, two with different eye details and uh, one with Mickey ears. Um, so we're gonna use a black yarn to make the details. Uh, we're gonna attach two ears to one of our jack skeleton's head so for that i'm going to use a black uh, worsted weight yarn and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so for round one i'm going to work um, 
magic ring and then I'll work six single crochets around the magic ring so like we did for the head we are just gonna work in spiral so we need a stitch marker to identify our first stitch So and then for round two, I'm gonna go ahead work uh, two single crochets on each stitch around. So work two single crochets on each stitch around. So before that, tighten the magic ring and secure it with a knot. So now at the end of round 2 we'll have uh, 12 stitches. For round 3 I'm going to work 2 single crochet in 1 stitch and 1 single crochet on the next stitch round. So continue working round 3. So at the end of round 3 we'll have uh, 18 stitches. So after round 3 is done you can fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. So we need to make uh, two of these ears. So and once that is done, I'm working a slip stitch and I'll fasten off leaving a long tail for sewing. So I'm gonna sew it using a tapestry needle like that. So it's gonna go, one ear is gonna go on each side. So here is one of uh, the Jack Skellington's head with a little variation uh, that is with a Mickey ears is done. So we can now attach the key ring to all our uh, Skellington's heads and uh, it's such a cute uh, gift idea for Halloween and if you're a crafter and uh, looking for some quick uh, project to sell in a craft fair this is a wonderful idea so try this uh, project at home and let me know your comments you can also use these uh, skeletons uh, heads as uh, christmas tree ornaments so instead of attaching the key rings you can add in few chains and use them as christmas tree ornaments the written pattern of ja this jack skeleton amigurumi is available in the description box and in my website theyarnbowlcrochet.com so try this amigurumi at home and let me know your comments i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye